I thought Arsenal were joking as well last night yeah, when they, they conceded in the, the very last minute. I just want to get your both of your views actually on um, the uh, the two games last night in the Europa League. I think the biggest competition in world football. I bet you do now because you're tuning up in the first leg against the mighty Granada. We'll talk about that in a moment. But you're an Arsenal fan. What happened to your side? Uh, not good. No intensity. Poor. Um, the only intensity was when Pepe and Aubameyang come on towards the end. Got the goal. I thought yes, and then one one at the end. I mean, slip. Arsenal went all sloppy and. And it's poor, but do we expect anything different from Arsenal? No, but Arteta's putting him under himself under so much pressure because where they are in the table, I mean, they're like ninth, tenth in the league. If they, they're, they're not ninth, they're tenth. Okay, tenth, ninth, tenth, same tenth. thing. No, it's not. Um, if they no. were to... No, Aston Villa are ninth. Okay, tenth, ninth. If, if they were to not win any, pick up any trophies and they finish tenth, eleventh, mm. he's, un, he's under some serious pressure. I like Arteta, I, I like what he's doing, but there's got to be a little bit of consistency because right now there's none. Mm. Dave, we're going to talk about Arsenal a bit later on in the show, but just I'm just curious as to your views because I've not spoken to you actually about Arsenal. Is the problem the manager? Is it the players? Is it a much bigger problem? Does it go deeper? Is it well, to do with the whole club? I mean, I've I've uh, I've been I've been to the Emirates a few times and worked on their games, commentated on their games, and um, I know obviously Aubameyang came on. And there was a lot of questions. I, I listened to I listened to it on Talksport, and um, is that the ice? No, can't be ice in a zip, can it? <laughs> That's the treatment. I should point out that that noise was the the, the zip noise of Benty getting his headphones out. Someone case. left a pair of headphones here that don't even work properly. One one side doesn't work. Oh, okay, well I will be getting a P forty five ready for whoever. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, that might be Andy Jacobs. Oh, well, Andy's a legend, so I'm going to say Sorry, Dave. Yeah, and uh, I guess um, it, 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 look, it's been a season for him. It's been terrible. Let's be honest. It's been terrible. And the times I've been there, I was there for the Chelsea game. I thought they were brilliant Boxing Day. And then um, you got to leave the stadium pretty quick as soon as you're done. And um, I got in my car. But before me, right in front of me, was was a Bamiang in his... Um, so he before you. Leave, he was leaving the ground. He was leaving the ground before me in his gold um, Lamborghini or whatever it is. Yeah, storm. You know, not storming, but obviously uh, revving up, and and he was gone. Which, as a captain, I don't know what we discussed, it, didn't we, Darren? In terms mm. of a skipper, you know, when you've had a great result like that under huge pressure, and then you, you, your captain sort of is probably didn't even have a shower. You know, probably you know mm. you played. I played the players at the yeah. half times. You know, storm off or you don't have a shower. Don't even have a shower. I don't. He must. Well, you're talking. Know. I mean, when you say now, we're talking COVID time, so I can sort yes. of get my head around perhaps why I play. But you surely, when you were playing in normal times. Players always have. Well, if chance. they had a strop, some lads would. would just, I, listen, I, I know players that, where well, there's one particular player. Um, name him. I'm not going to name him. Um, but he got dragged at half time and he, worked, he didn't stay. So he went and then got on a bus with his boots on home. What do you mean a bus? Well, you know what a bus is? Like a public number 92 bus. Why, where was his car? I don't know where his car was, but he. What, got, a professional footballer? Got on the bus with his boots. With his kit on? With his kit on. <laughs> I don't believe that. All right, um, you know what? I, I could, it was a Delta rap. Obviously, he's on my boot room on Sunday. Yeah. I don't tell Darren any secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he he will fold he's under the question. Arm, no, yeah. no, but I asked about I asked him about it, and he said, "Yeah, his head had gone. He was young, so he just got on the got on the." Wow. Yeah. When he was where QPR? QPR. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie remembers. Ollie, Ollie's nodding because Ollie was the bus driver that against, day against Fulham on the bus. Can you imagine me? Can you imagine the conversation? You'll never guess who was on my bus today. Oh yeah, go on. A Delta rap. No, don't be silly. He was playing. It wasn't mm-hmm. in his kit with his That's boots on. With the boots on. Yeah, but okay, so some players have a strop. They oh, I, p- I, I played at uh, West Ham and we were playing Norwich. One of the lads, not in the squad, got a taxi. That's an expensive taxi for Norwich. All the way home? All the way home, yeah. So you obviously went there together on the team coach? Yeah. And then he found out he wasn't playing? Yeah. And who's that? Oh, I can't say. Okay. Do you know what? That, I'm not like Darren there. Off. You can tell me your secrets. Do you know what? Don't, don't tell him anything. Just tell me a rhyme tell him anything. I think it's one of them things. That, that's not uncommon, that. That happens a lot where yeah. players will. I don't think it's that common that you, you'll get on the the local not, bus. Not, not the local your... number sixty two, but in terms of being not being in the squad. All right, I'm out of here, regardless whether you're home or away. He weren't going to just sit there and go, "Why well, he's left?" He's me a out. skipper, though, but, right? But, I mean, I think we'll I think he should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to be hanging around in the dressing room, isn't he? But it? he's not like a skipper. I don't see him. You look at Arsenal, right? And you, they've had some great, great captains. Of course, the one that jumps off the page is Tony Adams, and I'm talking yeah. about what he gave the players on mm. the pitch. Vieira, right? Thierry. Okay, these are these are wonderful. In fact, there was one Arsenal player. It might have been Sack. It might not have been last night. Who swapped his shirt at the end of the game? Pepe. Pepe it was Pepe. You're right. Now, if you if a player did that and he was in your team and you had Tony Adams as your your, ma- your captain, he would hold him up against the wall yeah. in the dressing room afterwards. Yeah, after after. Do you know what it's Yang probably doesn't even know that happened. But you know, that's the mentality of this club is that Pepe scored the goal, so he, he thinks I've done my job. I've come on. I've made a difference. 
so he's not even thinking about what it means to the outside public looking in that you've just let in a last minute goal. You know what I would have, Captain Tierney. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I'm with one, you. I would have 100% yeah, Tierney. Get that. I he get gets that. injured a little bit, but that's because he, he he gives it his all. Yeah. I don't know if Aubameyang's the right man. And obviously, we're, we're talking as well, weren't we, Darren, saying, mm. well, he's a highest pace. Is it another Ozil where he's. What, what does he do with him? If you I don't, think if you don't Tierney, like him. Tierney should be the captain. Yeah. But yeah, at the same time, the only problem with that is that he's not. He's, he's carries too many niggles, too many injuries. He misses too many games. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, we've got lots to talk about. We uh, will always take calls. Uh, of course, we will. That's why uh, one of the reasons why the show exists so you, the football fan, can have your say. 08717 22 4.